A row has erupted over a £9 million campaign to promote Britain's EU membership, with Leave campaigners accusing ministers of misusing public funds. Cabinet Minister Michael Fallon said the leaflets, to be sent to every UK home, were a moderate response to a public demand for information. But Leave campaigners are angry about what they see as biased propaganda. Tory MP Liam Fox is to launch an online petition to stop the leaflets being sent to 27 million homes. A separate petition launched by the Get Britain Out group has already gained more than 30,000 signatures, it needs 100,000 to be considered for a debate in Parliament. Eurosceptic MPs have long feared that ministers would try to sway the outcome of Britain's referendum on EU membership, on June 23 by using the full weight of the civil service machine to push the case for staying in. They had managed to get ministers to agree to limiting government propaganda in the weeks running up to the referendum campaign. But the leaflets, bearing the official home government stamp but not the face of David Cameron or any other ministers, are due to start landing on doormats in England next week, with the rest of the UK to follow. The leaflet claims that a vote to leave the EU would cause an economic shock that would risk higher prices of some household goods and damage living standards. It further claims that the only way to protect jobs, provide security and strengthen the UK's economy is by staying in the EU, arguing that leaving would create risk and uncertainty. Labour MP Gisela Stewart, who chairs pro-exit campaign group Vote Leave, said, This is not the facts. It is a misleading government propaganda campaign paid for by hard-working taxpayers who would rather see their money spent on their priorities. She said the public wanted an honest debate not an attempt by the Prime Minister to buy the referendum result with taxpayers' money. London Mayor Boris Johnson, a prominent figure in the exit campaign, claimed it showed the government was losing the argument and did not want a fair fight. But Defence Secretary Mr Fallon defended the government over the leaflet, telling BBC Radio 4's Today programme, the government is not neutral in this particular battle. The government takes the view that we would be better off, safer and stronger inside a reformed Europe. And he said there was a precedent for such action, we're entitled as the democratically elected government to set out our view, as government have done in every referendum we've had going all the way back to the original Europe referendum back in 1975. He said 80% of the British public wanted more information about the referendum and the government was giving the facts and the government's judgment to go with these facts. It is rather restrained and moderate, it does not make extravagant claims about the case for staying in, he added. Former Minister Liam Fox says he will launch a petition to secure a debate in Parliament on so we can make known our outrage at the government's behaviour. He said he would be returning his leaflet to Downing Street and urged others to do the same. Royal Mail will start delivering the leaflets, entitled Why the Government Believes That Voting to Remain in the EU is the Best Decision for the UK, to households in England next week and in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland after the May 5 devolved elections. A digital version will be advertised on social media and available on a new website. The government says the mail drop will cost £9.3 million, or about 3 4p per household.